Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our Expedia Cruises Norwegian presentation. Uh, we are super excited to be um, joining you tonight. Um, I'm just wondering if, I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me. So if somebody could just um, write down in the chat, they can hear me. That would be great. Uh, it's just one of those, one of those things where you're just not 100% sure. And I just want to make sure that you can hear me. I think you can because I can see that my mic is working here. So um, there is a chat there. Hopefully it works. Um, oh, it's saying chat is disabled, but we can hear you. OK, thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> Because I did one of these once and I got like five minutes through and then somebody somebody sent me a note saying, hey, we can't hear you. So thank you so much. Um, again, welcome. Uh, thank you for thank you for taking some time to join us here tonight because because it is a beautiful night in a lot of a lot of places across Ontario. And I know that there are lots of things to do. So thank you for spending a little bit of time tonight to learn about Norwegian and really what is the best time the whole year to book a Norwegian cruise. Um, this is a promotion with Expedia Cruises and um, um, we have branches right across the province and um, you can click, you can call, you can come in and visit one of our, one of our storefronts. We are navigators of spectacular vacations. Uh, we don't want to just, you know, help you plan a regular vacation. We want to help you create memories and fulfill dreams. And right now, after all that we've gone through the last 36 months, we want to make the most of every vacation. And me and my team look forward to giving you a hand. Um, our promise to you, we're navigators of spectacular vacations. We're going to provide you advice you can trust. We are passionate travelers and we send people right around the world. We want to use our experience and our team's experience to provide you the very best vacation. We're part of Expedia. We have the best choices and prices. We have contracts with 40 different cruise lines. We also sell rail, air, uh, resorts as well. We're gonna find you the very best price and the very best selection. We have a group program that is unbridled in uh, the travel agent um, travel agent world. Um, we block about 75,000 staterooms per, per year and we lock in prices to be able to give you the best price. We're more than just cruises. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, we do coach, we do rail tours, we sell travel insurance, which is probably the most important thing that we sell. And we are we are always always here before during and after your trip as well. You don't travel alone. You've got us backing you up. Um, who is Expedia Cruises Team Friesen? So that's um, myself and my wife. Boy, I look pretty uh, young there. Um, we have uh, been in the travel agency business since 2007. Uh, we opened up our very first uh, center in Thunder Bay in 2007. It's been 16 years. It's been 13 amazing years and a bit of a bit of a break there during COVID. That was not fantastic. Um, I've got a team of 300 consultants from Kenora to North Bay, Windsor to Toronto. We are a President Circle Diamond Center uh, that is given out to the top 10% um, uh, of centers uh, in uh, North America with Expedia Cruises. So um, I am. I am a multi-center franchise partner. So that means that um, um, I own multiple um, uh, centers across Ontario. Um, in Ontario, there's about 70, 70 franchises and 10 of them are mine. So Thunder Bay, Sault Ste. Marie, Sudbury, North Bay, Woodstock, Windsor. I have two stores in Hamilton, Burlington and Dundas. Um, opening soon in Sarnia and Chatham and Aurelia in St. Thomas. So um, I believe in the travel industry. I believe that we can help make your trip better. Um, and uh, my team really looks forward to helping you plan your next trip. And so we are going to be talking, oh, these are 
um, uh, some of the pitchers of my team, that top uh, left-hand pitcher, um, uh, some of my team sacrificed some of their time to do a river cruise um, on the on the Danube. That was 2018. And um, we believe that we can be better travel agents by going, you know, going in, checking out the checking out the ships, checking out the destinations. We do love what we do. Uh, some people call it work. It's a lifestyle um, for us as well. And these are just, you know, some of the pictures of my team traveling around. So we are going to be talking about Norwegian and why is uh, next week, the best week possible to book a Norwegian cruise. We're going to talk about um, the Norwegian cruise line experience. What is what is uh, Norwegian? Uh, what kind of cruise line are they? Uh, for those of you that have never cruised before or never cruised with Norwegian, where do they fit in? The Norwegian Viva, that's their newest ship. It just launched a couple weeks ago. Um, what is about their brand new ships? Um, and what is all the excitement about. And then we'll talk about the freestyle sale offer. Why is it the best time to book? Um, there is a Q&A um, button. So if you've got questions, you can type them in there. And uh, what I'll do is when I'm, um, when I'm done, and I'm going to be about 30 minutes, um, I, will, I will go through uh, the Q&A. So feel free to uh, feel free to type in uh, your questions and we'll go from there. So strap on your goggles and let's explore Norwegian. It's like I'm waking up, yeah. I'm rubbing all my eyes. I'm dancing with the sun, yeah. We're going out tonight. I'm shaking off the dust, yeah. I just found my light. I caught a little luck, yeah. I'm coming back. Okay, and I hope that the sound was working for that video because that's a great video and um, hopefully the sound was working. Um, Norwegian Cruise Line. So where do they fit in? What, what makes them uh, a different? Um, of the cruise lines that we sell, they're our third, our third most booked cruise line that we have. And so uh, Norwegian made a, made a shift about 2012 to this freestyle experience. And so they were, um, they were um, looking, looking at traditional uh, cruising and looking at what people didn't like about cruising. A lot of people did not like the set times, the formality. Um, I'm being told like when to eat, when to do a show, what to do. And so they've built their ships since about 2014, all about choice. So the freestyle experience, feel free to cruise your way. So you're going to cho choose, you're going to make your choice. Um, cruise your way with service and cruise your way with the experience. Um, there's a great shot there. I think this is the Encore. Uh, you can uh, see the comedy club there. Um, you can see Coco's, that's a, that's a crepery, uh, the casino uh, just on the second floor. Great, great, great cruise ship, you know, designs. Dining. So how does Norwegian do dining? So there's no fixed dining times. 
Um, you don't get early dining or late dining. You can get dressed up or go casual. There's no, there's no set dress code. There's maybe one or two specialty dining rooms down in the whole fleet that have got a dress code. Um, there are numerous complimentary, complimentary places, um, places to dine. So if you don't want to pay extra for a meal, you don't have to. There's plenty of places. There's main dining rooms, there's casual buffets, there's 24 hour uh, dining options, and there's room, room service. You can, you can get chicken wings 24 hours a day. Um, there are specialty dining rooms and really Norwegian does this really well where um, um, for a for a for a surcharge you can you can have some unique and amazing dining opportunities Cagney Steakhouse one of my favorite steakhouses uh, sailing ocean blue there's Le Bistro that's a um, that's a French uh, restaurant there's Ona by Scaparetti La Cantina Italian there's a uh, Madero that is a, a Brazilian steakhouse you'll be getting the meat sweats by the time that you're done. Tapanaki's, a, a Japanese um, a dining, dining experience, Food Republic. So lots of places to go. I would, I would recommend, you know, during a, during a seven-day cruise, I would recommend doing a couple of specialty dining. Treat yourself. You're on a vacation. Um, some of these some of these dining rooms, you'd be paying hundreds of dollars on a land. It is, it's a really neat experience. Um, activities. So there, um, every ship has, has a different, different uh, special activities. Uh, the one that you're uh, looking at there, that is the Prima. And that is a fjord in Norway. And so what would be more amazing than, you know, doing your go-kart run in the Norwegian fjords. Um, uh, fun for uh, multi-generational families and groups, and most are complimentary or, or a minimal cost. So the go-karts, there's a, there's a surcharge for um, of the go-karts. It's not because the cruise line needs money. It's because the waits were three to four hours when they launched these go-karts. So the surcharge just kind of cuts down the lineup a little bit. So um, there are aqua parks, so splash pads, um, uh, water water slides, laser tag. Um, there is uh, two of the two of the ships have this giant laser tag park. Ropes course on uh, uh, Norwegian breakaway and getaway. Um, they have got uh, what they call the plank that goes 15 feet over the side of the ship. You can walk out there and there's a camera there that will take your picture. Um, I, I did that. I got to the end of the plank, got my picture, and then I thought, how am I going to get back? Because I wasn't turning around. That was a little scary, but very, very cool. Uh, the Galaxy Pavilion, that's a big virtual reality, you know, park. Um, roller coasters and driving and just really neat stuff. Sports complex. There are these fitness centers. I have heard about these gyms and fitness centers. Um, I've, I've cruised over 70 times. I've never actually been in one before. Um, I would rather check out the buffet than the fitness center, but it's there for you wonderful people that want to run on a treadmill while you're cruising. Um, Every ship has a pool deck. So uh, usually there is uh, two main pools, um, water slides. You can see in this picture just in the, on the left-hand side going just off the side of the ship, there's a, there's a loop water slide that goes over the side of the ship. Somebody thought that was a good idea to do. It's very cool. Um, I really believe that this is the golden age of cruise, cruise ship building because um, every every supplier is trying to outdo the competitor and some of the things that they've got on board are just just amazing. Relaxing activities. There's a casino. I don't know if the casino would be considered relaxing, maybe if you're winning. Um, every ship has a spa. Every ship has a salon. 
Um, there are places on board that are adults only. So, um, so a brand like uh, Norwegian is a great family brand. There'll be lots of kids on board. And sometimes when there's lots of kids, you might want to have a place where there are no kids. Unique bars and lounges. There's strolling the waterfront or um, on the Prima and Viva, they call it the Ocean Front Boulevard. So uh, what they've done is brought the top deck down lower so there's more places to gather, more places to hang out. And of course, shopping. Everybody loves to shop. So there's lots of shopping on board as well. Entertainment. Norwegian has, you know, top-notch Broadway, Broadway uh, productions. Um, when uh, the ship that has the Jersey Boys, when they do the Jersey Boys, it's the full theatrical version. It's not a, you know, slim down a version. It's the full version. And it's, you know, um, uh, they've got, you know, Broadway qual quality singers and dancers. Um, uh, the cast that is that is on board, uh, they sign a nine month contract. They rehearse for three months and then they are, they are on board for six months. Uh, there's no shortage of things to do choices and they're complimentary. There are some dinner shows that have a minimal surcharge. On the Breakaway and Getaway, there is a Cirque du Soleil-like show. People are coming down from the ceiling and, you know, crazy, crazy stuff that has got a, um, uh, a, a small surcharge. Totally worth doing. It is an amazing production. So let's now talk about the Prima and the Viva. So the Prima came out summer of 22, and the Viva came out just a couple of weeks ago. These are their two newest ships. They're building four more of these over the next, um, I think there's no ship coming out next year, but in 25 for the next four years, there is, um, there's another ship coming out. Revolutionary design, and they really did a lot of neat things on board. I got the privilege of sailing on the Prima last fall in uh, out of uh, Miami. Okay, so that's just a little video of the Prima. Um, this is uh, the back of the ship, that very, um, the deck with the uh, the infinity pool, that is the back of the Haven. So uh, the Haven and the Haven Suites, this is the ship within a ship. So it's a, a collection of suites. Um, uh, the only people who are who are allowed to go up to the Haven are people who are booked in the Haven. And so it's a ship within a ship. Uh, the deck uh, just above has some nice hot tubs up there. Beautiful place to beautiful place to hang out. Um, the Prima and Viva have lots of these wide open spaces. This is on, oh, excuse me. This is on the Ocean Boulevard. Um, and so you'll notice like right off the back, unique gathering places, unique places to sit. Um, you've, you know, got these like wicker, wicker seating. Uh, you've got, um, you've got a couch with a gas fireplace at night 
they like light them up at night. So it's a very, very neat, and this is like right around, right around uh, the ship. You can see on, this is the um, Ocean Boulevard. They have plunge pools. They have tanning beds. They've got those circular places where you can, you can hang out. So lots of, lots of neat places to hang out. And at night, this is still a great place to hang out. Special bars, the hot tubs stay open at night and it's lit up really nice. Um, Ocean Boulevard, so that is, that's the space that we've been looking at here. And uh, what they did was uh, they wanted to, wanted to bring that pool deck down, you know, closer, closer to the water. And so uh, this deck is 44,000 square feet. It goes right around the entire ship. I know a lot of people like to walk, walk the promenade deck on a cruise ship. You can definitely do that here. And it wraps right around the entire ship. Um, off the Ocean Boulevard, there is uh, the Indulge food, food Hall. There's 11 diverse culinary venues. Think of it as a whole bunch of food trucks together from, you know, burgers and fries. There's a Starbucks there. There's, you know, seafood. There is great, there's great East, East, East Indian uh, a food there as well. Very, very diverse. Um, and then uh, there's, there's a lounge as well. There's a movie screen, just tons and tons of really, really cool stuff. Dining and bars. So there are many, many dining venues. Like I, like I said, said, you know, before, uh, lots of, you know, complimentary ones. And then there are um, uh, specialty, you know, dining as well. So uh, uh, specialty dining, um, there is, you know, Kapanaki's or Hazuki, that's um, where the where the Japanese chef cooks it right in front of you. Um, uh, the Italian, the French, lots of unique dining experiences. Complimentary, so world of uh, flavor. There's uh, lots of, you know, dining rooms inside and then they will bring the dining outside on that ocean ocean promenade as well. There's nothing better than, you know, sailing the Caribbean, being able to sit outside, watch the ocean and go by and have a, have a fantastic meal. Uh, bars and lounges, there's, you know, the Metropolitan Bar, there's the Observation Lounge right at the top of the ship, Belvedere Bar, plenty of places you will not, not be able to find a bar. There is many lounges, gathering places, lots of live music um, on uh, some of the ships. There's you know comedy clubs. Um, uh, the Encore, the Encore has a um, has a, a local brewery right on board. They're brewing their own beer. Um, lots of experiences. I love this picture because it kind of gives you just a just a shot of what that racetrack looks like. Um, it's a three level high uh, racetrack. That's on the Viva and Prima. The Joy, Encore and Escape also have racetracks. Uh, they're only two decks high. And on the Viva and Prima, you'll see just, just at the back of the, of the racetrack, you see a little bar because we needed another place to drink. And so there's nothing better than the racetrack and like having a having a drink as well, just below the uh, racetrack, you can you can see the um, rounded portion. That's the buffet, and just I mean a spectacular ship. Um, the Viva Speedway three level track, fourteen nail biting turns, fifteen riders at a time. Uh, you can go thirty miles per hour. Some people have said said like it must be really really loud with the go karts. They're electric, so they're not. But they were, people were commenting they were missing the roar from the go kart. And so what they quickly did was they put two speakers right behind your right behind your head, and when you touch the gas, it sounds like the motor's revving up. So it actually feels like you are driving a motorized um, uh, a go kart. It's very cool, very worth doing. Um, 
that top middle picture, those are dry slides that'll bring you from the pool deck down to the ocean promenade, quickest way that you're gonna get there. Um, it is a dry, a dry slide. Uh, there's uh, the Galaxy Pavilion, the main pool, the Vibe Beach Club. So at night they have live music there and it's you know kind of got that Miami beach feel to it. <clears throat> Let's talk about accommodations. So there's varied from you know solo cabins to the to the haven. So um, what they've got the most of are these balcony balcony state rooms, well appointed, all new color scheme. The bathroom, the bathroom is um, is big. Uh, sometimes um, when you've cruised on other cruise lines, you kind of need to you know back into the bathroom because it's so small. Here, there's no shower curtain. It's a nice glass you know, shower, shower door, lots of room. Uh, you can uh, sleep up to four. Norwegian has these studio staterooms and these are built for a single person. Um, it's, it's small, it's 94 square feet, but it has, it is a, a marvel of design because you'll feel that there's more storage in these rooms than a normal balcony. Um, it's got a, got a very small, you know, bathroom but it's very functional. It is designed for those people that just want their own space, their partner doesn't want to travel, or sometimes there'll be two, there'll be two ladies, you know, traveling. They don't want to share a room. You can get two, two studio state rooms. These have been extremely popular and sell out very quickly, but you don't have to pay that, that single supplement because these are designed for you. Um, all the studio rooms, There'll be a central uh, studio lounge that's just for the solo passengers. They can hang out. It's like a living room. TV's in there. You know, there's some snacks and stuff like that as well. Um, and of course, the Haven. I mentioned that already. Um, this is what the Haven looks like on on some of the older older ships. So think of a ship within a ship. You're not sharing space with thousands. You're you know, there's like 150 people here. Um, what do you get with the Haven? A 24-hour butler service, a concierge service, a private key card access, and there's an elevator just for people going up to the Haven. Uh, there's a Haven sun deck, Haven bar and lounge, and a private Haven restaurant. So, um, like I said, I got a chance to be up there for a, for a four-day cruise. It was really amazing. Um, it spoiled me forever. I will, I will now struggle to go back to a regular stateroom. Um, I don't want to go back. Kind of like flying business class that very first time. You don't want to go back to the back of the plane. Um, some of the, uh, some of the staterooms, uh, the bottom right-hand corner, the balcony hot tub. This is the, this is the aft facing owner's suite. It's, you know, a thousand, thousand square feet. You have a private hot tub on your on your deck a separate um separate living area separate master bathroom or bedroom beautiful way to travel um so that's that's a bit about the the ships you know uh uh the onboard activities where do they go sean well they travel oh yeah so this slide is here just to remind us we don't want to talk about it, especially the last like, couple of days. It's been 30, 35. It's been just gorgeous. But, you know, I'm from Thunder Bay and in two months we can be doing this and it's coming. So let's plan those winter vacations now. Let's not wait. Let's get it done now. Um, where does Norwegian sail? So uh, their, their top destination is actually Europe. They have 58 different different itineraries. 46 in uh, the uh, Caribbean, and Caribbean, they do sail year-round. Uh, the European season is usually like April until November. Um, Asia, we think Asia is going to be one of the hottest destinations because we've not been able to go there for so long. Um, and so 37 different itineraries in Asia, then it's Alaska, Transatlantics. Transatlantics is where you go from like North America to Europe or Europe uh, back, to, back to North America when the ships are repositioning. Lots of days at sea, but some great value there. 
Panama Canal, self-explanatory. Uh, short cruises to the Bahamas or Bermuda, Canada, New England, usually in uh, late fall. Um, you'll be able to go like right now and you'll be able to see hopefully the changing of the, of the leaves. Mexican Riviera, these are sailings out of uh, Los Angeles. South America, they've, they've got a small, small program down there. Trans-Pacific, that's where you're going from the west coast of uh, the United States over to Hawaii and then to Australia. Uh, we've, got, we've got Australia, New Zealand, it's back, it's hotter than ever. Uh, there are sailings from Africa. So if you've always wanted to go to Africa, didn't know exactly what to do. Do it by cruise ship. It's a great way to do it. Pacific Coastal, that's, you know, going up and down the West Coast. There are cruises to Antarctica, where you're going to be able to, to do scenic cruising by Antarctica. And then there's the one and only Hawaii Seven Night Pride of America. And uh, that's a fantastic cruise. Um, yeah. And so uh, Bermuda, you can sail there from Boston and uh, New York. They have four and five day cruises available. Um, there are seven days as well. It's a great way to go there because if you've ever been to Bermuda, everything is so expensive there. Um, the best way to go is by cruise ship. Absolutely. Alaska, it's cold water cruising. So if you've, if you've like always done, you know, Caribbean, you know, cruises, um, this is all about the scenery, the glaciers the the whales the wildlife it is a fantastic way to see alaska and uh, highly highly recommend and um if you're going to do it we would recommend tacking on a cruise tour so a cruise tour is where you would you would fly up to alaska do you know three four five days on land first and then board your ship and go and go back down to vancouver um, Hawaii, I mentioned a Pride of America. So a Pride of America does a round trip Honolulu. It's the only ship that is allowed to sail round trip Hawaii. Um, it's a slightly different cruise experience because, uh, because of the ship is all U.S. based ports, 90% of the crew or something. It's a very, very high percentage has to be U.S. citizens. So it's a little bit of a different flavor to to the to the crew for sure um we're getting a lot of questions about the fires down in lahaina and i mean that was tragic the ships are are going uh, back into maui starting this week so on the western side that's where lahaina is but on the eastern side it's fine and the hawaiian people they need tourists because their economy is based on tourism and so by going to the side of the island that's not affected, it's better. Um, um, and it's a beautiful place to visit too. Um, yeah, so this, this has to be down on your bucket list for sure. The Viva is going to be sailing out of San Juan. So seven night Caribbean and a nine night Caribbean out of San Juan, going to places like, you know, Virgin Gorda, Curacao, um, Antigua, St. Thomas, St. Lucia, and, you know, all these wonderful, wonderful ports. And then during the next summer, the Viva will reposition back to Europe, uh, the Mediterranean. It's going to do nine and ten night out of, um, out of Athens, one of my favorite places to go. Um, you're just steeped in history. Um, uh, going to Santorini, Mykonos, Florence, and uh, then it's doing some uh, nine day out of uh, Venice, Trieste. They're not allowed to go into Venice, but they can go into Trieste. Going to go to Santorini. I mean, when you're there, you're thinking, I've seen this view so many times on postcards. You know, pinch me. I can't believe I'm here. Um, you go to Istanbul, the Blue Mosque in, um, in um, Istanbul. It is gorgeous. Um, you need to do a gondola ride in Venice. It's, it's just one of those things on your bucket list you have to do. Dubrovnik, has that whole Game of Thrones uh, vibe. A lot of, you know, Game of Thrones was filmed here. Uh, Pisa, you know, the leading tower. You can check that out. Mykonos, you know, just uh, just a magical place. Barcelona. So um, also 
uh, sailing out of um, Rome and Lisbon, um, London, Rome, just lots of options. So um, I talk to our team, find out, you know, where do you want to go? What is important? You probably need about six cruises in Europe to be able to, to do the Mediterranean and the North, you know, British Isles, uh, the Baltics, so many amazing places to go. Rome, Corfu, Venice, Seville, Laverno. So, I mean, we just touched on a few, few places to go. I mean, there is so many more and it's really, what is, what is your bucket list? What is on your bucket list? Where do you want to go? And when you write that bucket list, let's start at the top of the bucket list. Let's not start from the bottom. Like, um, how about a world cruise? How about, how about Asia? How about that Haven suite? We have clients, you know, grandma and grandma who get the Haven for them. They'll be cruising with the family. And so they'll put the families, you know, down below. So when they need a bit of a break, they'll go up to the Haven and rest and, you know, hang out there. So lots of options. The freestyle sale. So this is going to be bookings made between September 11th and September 17th. So it's just for six days. Um, our, our promo, um, uh, the public offer is 70% off the second guest. It has all five free at sea offers, free, uh, free air for the second guest. Now, I'm, I'm just going to stop there for a second because their, their, their air program, while it sounds quite exciting uh, to be able to fly at basically 50% off, there's a trade-off. And the trade-off is you don't get your schedule until really close to going. It's not going to be direct. And if you have multiple cabins going together, they won't be on the same routing. We've had families of four where the people in the same cabin have had different routing. And so if you don't care what the air is, this is a good option. Usually for most people, when they when it comes time, you know, to actually get the schedule, the schedule is more important than the discount. So we'll be able to walk you through that. And the exclusive deal for the week is free prepaid gratu uh, free prepaid gratuities for the first and second guest. And all balcony cabins are or better. All ships and sail dates after January first, twenty twenty four. Gratuities are worth $20 US per person per day now. So if it's a if it's a, a seven-day cruise, that's $140 US for one, $280 uh, for a for a seven-day cruise. So that is our that's our promotion. I mean, we're uh, um, super excited. Um, this is our third year doing this Norwegian sale. Every year it gets bigger and bigger and um, more and more people booking. So we really would like to uh, really would uh, like to like to talk to you, chat with you, um, you know, figure out where do you want to go? And um, my team just loves helping people create those memories. So um, reach out. Um, you will get a you will get a, a follow up email and just, you know, um, respond to that. Or if you've got your Expedia Cruises um, uh, consultant, please reach out to them. So I'm just going to check into the Q&A here. And if you've got a, got a question, uh, let us know. What is the minimum number of Norwegian shares you need for an onboard spending credit? And what is the value of the credit? James, I believe it's 100 shares that you need. Um, and the value of the credit depends on how long the cruise is. Um, so um, I know the Carnival Corp um, um, a program uh, for a for a seven day cruise on a balcony. I believe it's a hundred dollars. Um, I'm not sure what the current current um, program is um, for that, but um, uh, we can. We can certainly certainly get back to you on on that. So that's a, that's a great that's a great question. Um, anybody else have any questions? Just just uh, throw it throw it into the Q and A tab.
Um, it's probably down at the bottom of your of your screen. Um, is the prepaid gratuities just on balconies or used with inside an ocean view? It is on all categories, which is which is cool because uh, last year that was just on balconies or balconies or better. So um, prepaid gratuities for the first and second uh, first and a uh, second person on there. Oh, somebody just just sent me the sent me the uh, share shareholder benefit. I am just going to post that right right into the Q and A here, and uh, you will. Oh, I think it just like came up here. So Q and A. Um, one hundred dollar credit on a state room of seven to 14 days, $50 per state room on six days or less, $250 on a sailing 15 days or more. And that is for holding 100, uh, 100 shares of Norwegian Cruise Line. So, so thank you. Thank you, Jeanette, for sharing that. I appreciate that. Uh, Norwegian website has a um, has a extra gratuity for the drink package. Is that waived for the promotional package? No, it's not. So um, a standard so standard um, standard rates on that. And so um, um, Norwegian Norwegian has the drink package, but they do charge uh, the gratuities on top of your cruise fare and that that varies by um varies by uh sailing and so uh, we can we can certainly price that out for you uh those are all great questions anybody else okay well thank you all for attending it was it was a great to chat with you all tonight and i hope that uh, um that you found that helpful and we would we would love to talk to you and uh, watch out watch out for that for that follow-up note of that will be coming to you probably tomorrow morning and uh you know start to start to plan out your um plan out your trip and we will be there to help you all the way along thank you all for attending tonight and we look forward to talking to you real soon have a good night, everyone.